Coming to Kinesis as a freshman, I was pretty comfortable with the school because I was around the community for four years because of my brother graduating in 2013. Even though I've been around the Kinesis community for years before my first day, I was still coming into a new school that was five times bigger than the grammar school I was coming from. Coming here, I had a set friend group from my previous school, and it eased the stress of trying to find new friends. The bad part about this set friend group was that I isolated myself to only these core friends. I found myself not meeting new people and only talking to the people that were at my lunch table. I did not become close with a lot of different people, mainly only being school friends with these new kids I was beginning to meet. Once I got to school, my personality completely changed into being stuck in a shell and not voicing my opinion if it ever went against the friend group. For example, I have always loved the outdoors like hunting and fishing, but I never told anyone about it because I didn't want to be different from everyone else. These secrets about myself became larger and larger, and I felt like only a couple of people truly knew who I was at school. Golf season arrived, and I made the team as a freshman, and right away it was a very humbling experience. I went from being the man at a small elementary school to the nerdy freshman that everyone looked down on, and it was the first time I had ever encountered this. Once I realized this new role I had, I began to work harder, playing every day, and doing anything I could to be more influential on the team. Golf season ended, and looking back on it, I see myself still being the selfish freshman who wanted all the fame. Basketball came quick after golf season, and I was very excited because basketball was my life at this time. Once it started, though, I began to realize that I started to hate the sport that I always loved during middle school. I went from being the best to not even playing, and I didn't know how to deal with it. Out of pure instinct, I began ver became very rattled by the limited playing time, and I realized how selfish I was. I tried to find a new role by not being the man, but instead doing the simple things and being the best teammate that I could, just so I, just so I could get as many minutes as possible. Quitting was never really an option, even though I really did not want to be there. And reflecting on quitting, I am so happy I ended up sticking with it, because it would have been the biggest mistake I could make as a 14-year-old. Freshman year, I had so much expectations, and it just wasn't what I expected. I felt lost, and I could not really just... I could not really trust anybody in my school, which caused me to keep my thoughts to myself. The start of sophomore year was basically a continuation from freshman year. I was still in my shell and I was not being true to myself, but instead trying to be that kid that my friends liked. I did not become close with anyone on the golf team, and I was searching for anything to get attached to. Basketball season started, and I was very excited to have a new coach and a fresh start from last year. My family and the Zara family have always had a close relationship, so I felt much more comfortable playing for Mr. Zara than I did freshman year. This was the first time I truly witnessed what a team meant. This was my first encounter of the brotherhood that Kenesha's always preached and what I was always searching for freshman year. When I witnessed this brotherhood, I was relieved and excited that I was finally part of something in the school. I felt this sense of family and fellowship when we went on our team retreats, team trips, and team meals. Because of this encounter I had with the basketball team, I started to immerse myself in the Kinesis community more and more. There's a very good chance I would not have went on Kairos and an immersion trip if it wasn't for this family I was a part of on the basketball team. At this time, I decided to truly witness what Kinesis meant, and reflecting back on it, I'm so happy I did not follow up what my brother mistakenly did, not going on any retreats or immersion trips. Even though I finally found what I was looking for in Kinesha's, I still had to make self-improvements. I needed to become more loyal, unselfish, and loving with not only my family, but friends as well. This is now my third year on the golf team, and I now have a big role in the team. I'm learning how to become a leader, and I really saw hard work and dedication to my craft being rewarded. I learned that you get what you put into it, and not only in golf, but in all aspects of life. I qualified for the state championship, and this was the first time I witnessed myself being rewarded for the work and time I've been putting in, and it felt great. Unfortunately, I was still selfish, and I definitely could have been a better teammate in all aspects. Basketball season came, and I was so nervous because I did not think I was going to make it, but I ended up being on the team, and it was one of the biggest influences on me growing into a more loving man. All year, I heard everyone saying in school that I made the team be only made the team because of my brother. But on the inside, I knew how much I worked over the summer and the fall just to receive a spot on the team. Once I made the team, we all instant, instantly became a family. 
This was JV basketball times 10 in regards to being a close-knit family, and it felt so good to not just have close friends at my lunch table, but now I have 14 brothers that I could trust on the basketball team. To this day, these were the most enjoyable six months of my life, and it was so eye-opening how powerful a team could be if everyone had each other's back and truly cared for each other. Looking back to freshman year, I saw how much I've grown as not just a basketball player, but as a teammate. I was not the cocky kid anymore who wanted all the glory, but I had a new role, barely playing, and I was perfectly okay with that. I found myself being a better teammate, always working hard in practice, and doing whatever I could to support the teammates who actually played. I matured quite a bit, being around the seniors and having role models that I could look up to, for example, Stafford Trueheart. Staff was clearly the man on our team, always getting the fame and glory, but he would never mention any of that. He was one of the most humble kids I have ever met. Putting myself in his shoes, I knew I would never be as humble as him, and he matured me by just opening my eyes and being a good example to everyone else on our team. He was what a true captain meant in my eyes, and I wanted to become more like him. I took a lot of what I learned from the basketball team and applied that framework into my front circle. Not always, now always trying to be loyal, humble, and caring, the three characteristics that I have always admired in other people. Before this team, I always thought of love being so only being associated with family. I finally witnessed what love meant with my friends. Everyone on this team would do anything for each other, and that's what love meant in my eyes. After basketball, I saw things start to change. I went on Kairos, and I was shocked on how much some people cared about me when they wrote their letters. I started to realize who my true friends were, and they were the kids I could trust. I realized that my new friends allowed me to be who I wanted to be, and the old wanted me to be the same old Pat, and I realized the old Pat, who sometimes had to wear a mask, needed to take that mask off and just be myself. I felt safe to be who I am, and this is the most comfortable I have ever been. The loyalty spread friend to friend, and we, were, we always had each other's back. This loyalty and trust within my new friends was what I was always looking for, and I was so happy I finally found it. I found myself being more relaxed, having fun, and less stressed to impress others. Reflecting back on junior year, I see this being a very vital time in my life, and I saw myself growing as a better person through the relationships I had at school and started to return the love with the people who loved me. Senior year came so fast, and it was full of excitement and expectations. I became a much bigger leader, and I was named captain of the golf team. I finally received the role that I was searching for freshman year. This would never have happened without the hardship I had to endure and the individual growth that I went through during the previous three years. I finally started seeing the hard work translate into growth as not just a player, but as a better teammate and person. After being named captain, I started to realize the importance of the team more than just worrying about myself and individual achievements. I was no longer afraid to voice my opinion, and I finally broke out of the shell, and now everyone knew who I was, and I was proud of who I became. I started to try to be more outgoing with the younger kids, and trying to give them the experience I always hoped for as a freshman. I saw myself trying to be more like the leaders that I looked up to, like Santora and Stafford, when I was younger, because I knew how influential they were to my individual growth. My goal was to get everyone on the team to feel like they were important, because that's all I wanted as a freshman when I was behind the scenes not doing much. I started to see the younger kids on the team start to open up and break out of their shell as the season got going, and it made our team way more enjoyable and successful. I realized how influential being unselfish could be on the people around me. Looking back on my four years as a golfer, I received MVP, most improved, two state tournaments, and named captain, and I really realized how much I'd grown and how I needed to become a better teammate before I became a better player. I tried to take this leadership from golf and start implementing it to basketball, and I became a much bigger leader. I was also voted captain by my teammates for basketball, and it was by far one of the proudest accomplishments I had received so far. Most people normally think of the best player or most skilled player being the captain, and I was never that guy, but I always was striving to be the best teammate, the best voice, and someone who put the team in front of myself. When they recognized this, it made my struggles and perseverance worth it because my teammates recognized the person that I am and the person I was striving to become, which is one of loyalty, unselfishness, and integrity. 
Not that I needed this recognition, but it opened my eyes to see how far I had become as a person. Despite being told that I won't, wouldn't be a big part of the team, I kept working hard and believing in myself. I have been contributing to a team that I nor anyone else would have thought I would be. During this grad at grad process, I looked back at how much I have grown into a mature man, and I realized how none of this would be possible without the loving support from my family. My parents were always present in my life, not being able to recall the last time they ever missed a game. Emotionally, I could see myself in them, and I became a much more loving person by modeling myself off of them. Coming home and having a chat with my dad and just having him be there at all times, wanting to participate in my life, was genuine, authentic, and comforting. As I have grown older, I have learned to appreciate the little things from my parents that showcase what love looks like, and I have tried to implement this not only with my family, but with my friends. I found myself caring for my friends more and always being there for my friends, just how my parents were always there for me. Going up to my cabin with my dad changed our relationship from father to friend, and we became much more closer through this transition. It's comforting to know I always have someone to talk to, whether it's just talking about the game from the night before or what I want to do with my life. My mom has always been the glue of our family. Just like most moms, she always kept everything together and she never wanted space between each other. She always took us out to dinner on Fridays and it was important to her that we'd always go to Mass on the weekend. This feeling of love was a lot of times taken for granted and unseen until my Kairos. Once I heard that letter they wrote to me, I finally realized how much they sacrificed and how much they truly cared about me. Just being around them, I saw myself becoming more respectful and loving, not only to them, but to everyone around me. I think this was the spark I needed to, needed to start growing into a better man. Friday night dinners, the comfort I found there, was the comfort I had been looking for and eventually found at school with new friend groups, and it has made me more comfortable outside of the family making new and stronger relationships with the people around me. After seeing how much I have grown and influential my parents' love was to my individual growth, I see how important it is to continue what I have started. I am so happy that I have grown out of my shell and just to become who I was. I admire my parents' love and I am so happy they were my role models during my four years here because modeling them made me a more loving, respectful, and loyal young man. And no matter where I go to college in the next year, I need to continue this love and growth, not only as a person, but as a loving and caring man.